What's going on everybody today? I hope you guys are having a great morning or afternoon whenever you guys may be watching this video. Um, we have a pretty special video planned for today. So as many of you guys may know, um, the GR86 or BRZ is still a pretty relatively new car and there really isn't too many parts that are out for these yet. Um, which is kind of why it's been so hard for me to make videos for you guys. But I reached out to a company called Velocitech, which if you guys haven't already heard of them, they are a company who pretty much produces like Ram air intakes and like intake systems for all sorts of different brands. They have stuff for I'm pretty sure Toyota, Subaru, Hondas, Ford. They have stuff for pretty much about everything. So if you guys are interested in any of the products that you guys see in today's video, I'll make sure to of course leave everything down in the description below. That way you guys can go and check out their page and see if there's any intake systems that they make for your car. But with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and get the intake unboxed now, and then go ahead of course and get the uh, car disassembled and show you guys how you install it. And before we get started, of course, unboxing this, I just wanna say a huge shout out to Velocitech for sending this over. Um, I'm really excited to get this thrown on the car. So with that being said, we'll go ahead and get it unboxed. So we got, pretty much there's two parts to this that's gonna be inside the box. From what I see, there's the actual, of course, snorkel Ram air intake itself and all the hardware. And then I'm pretty sure this would be like the mounting for it. I'm almost certain that's what that's for. Of course, I'm gonna have to get everything still unboxed, but we'll go ahead, get it unboxed, and we'll get it all laid out. That way I can show you guys what's inside the box. One thing that I like about this is that it actually comes with all the necessary hardware and uh, parts that you would need to actually install this, which of course, who wants to have to go through the process of having to buy the, uh, the screws and the nuts, whatever the case may be. So it's nice having everything here and ready to go and get it installed. They actually also have a step-by-step -step, like installation guide that's on their website whenever you buy an intake or if you're even if you're just looking at them you can scroll through their site and it gives you this whole step-by-step -step page on how to install this onto the car so that should honestly help make this a whole lot easier because i haven't really seen too many people and do this kit on my car yet before so i think i may be one of the first so it's nice to have all this laid out right in front of me when I'm trying to get this done. So with that being said, I'll go ahead, get the uh, front bumper taken off the car, and we'll go ahead and get this Velocitech Ram Air intake installed onto the car. So the first thing that we're gonna have to do is get the uh, front bumper taken off, which is gonna be kind of tedious. If you guys haven't already seen the video that I posted right before this, I actually got some clear side markers installed onto the car and it was I wouldn't say a hard job, but it was kind of tedious because the um, these side markers kind of required some modifying to get them to work. And it really sucked because it took me about like 30, 40 minutes to get these to actually turn on and be functional. And in order to get the front bumper off, I'm gonna actually have to unplug these lights, which really, really sucks. And I really hope that I'm not gonna have to run into issues again with them not working. But I mean, and, We'll always we'll cross that path when it comes, but I don't want to waste any more time. I'm going to go ahead and get the uh, hood opened up on the car, and we'll go ahead and try and get the front bumper taken off. <music> So to actually remove the front bumper, what you're gonna need is a 10 millimeter socket. And it has these clips um, on the car. They make an actual tool to remove these design clips, but you can always just use a flathead screwdriver and go along the sides of it, and they always just pop out just like that. So they got, I'm pretty sure there's about, I think four or six 10 millimeters 
on top. I know there's three clips on each side because I just had to do that for the side markers for the install for those. And I'm pretty sure there's about three or four clips on top and I know there's a, a bunch of them underneath the bumper right here. So I'll go ahead, get everything taken off and right before I take the actual bumper off, I'll pick up the camera again. So for reference, you guys, if you guys are gonna do this yourself on your 2023 or 2022 GR86 or BRZ, um, there was about 25-ish bumper clips that I had to remove, which was pretty tedious, but I mean, it had to be done. There was actually five 10 millimeter bolts for the bumper itself and two 10 millimeters for the side markers. So I just wanted to let you guys know all that. And please, please, please always remember to put all your screws or um, fasteners, whatever the case may be, always put all your hardware in a bag that way you guys don't lose any of the stuff. Um, so now what I'm gonna do is get the actual front bumper pulled off of the car and go ahead and read the instructions as to how we have to install the Velocitech Ram air intake. Let's see how much of a pain this is gonna be. I really, really hope that it's not gonna be too hard to get this thing off. <laughs> so now that we got the actual front bumper taken off the car, what it says to do next is to actually remove this OEM plastic plate right here, this piece right here, and the OEM snorkel. So I'm going to go ahead and figure out how to get that removed. So to remove the actual OEM snorkel, I'm assuming it's these, what looks like I think maybe 10 millimeter bolt. There's one right here, another one right here, and then to remove this I don't know really know what you would call this piece behind it, but this, this is what I'm referring to right here. To, re to remove this, I think it's just these like 10 or so clips. So I'll go ahead and get these taken off the car and I'll see if uh, it removes the OEM snorkel afterwards. All right, you guys, so I actually just got the OEM snorkel taken off the car. It was super, super simple. Um, it was just six clip bolts right here. And then where are they? They're right here and these two long 10 millimeter bolts as well. It was a super simple process. I have the uh, OEM snorkel right here. I don't really know what this piece is called behind it, but um, got both of those removed. If you guys can tell, it's actually getting pretty dark out here. Um, it's already nine o'clock now and all the bugs are starting to come out. So what I think I'm gonna do for today is probably wrap this up here for tonight and I'll bring everything in from the outside, bring it into the garage, and then probably first thing tomorrow morning is I'll come out here and I'll get the Velocitech Ram air intake installed onto the car. So with that being said, I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. What's going on you guys? So it's the next morning and we're gonna be picking up kind of like where we left off last night. I was so scared <laughs> that this bumper was gonna fall over somehow. So I put up this cargo box. It's not that this was really gonna do much anyways, but kind of just to help out in case it, God forbid, did fall. But um, from last night, I'm assuming we got everything taken off the car that we would need to. So now I'm pretty sure it's just the process of getting everything now unboxed and taken out of all these bags, like from the the hardware that they provide and getting it mounted on the actual big ram air intake and then from there on i'm pretty sure we just go ahead and get it put on the car but i'm going to be following the instructions that they provide on their site these right here so i mean it really shouldn't be too hard of a process i'm literally going to be following a step-by-step -step page instruction manual pretty much but um i'll go ahead and get everything taken out of these bags right here and start to get them installed onto the car. So we got everything laid out now. What's kind of nice is it, Velocitech labels all their parts that they send out to you. So when you're going to install this, it, for example, it says like bracket three needs to be connected right there. So you would literally just go up to the part, find bracket three, 
screw it in, and it's literally that simple. So I'm gonna go ahead, I don't really think you guys need to just watch me screw stuff in. So I'll go ahead and get these brackets put on to the actual intake itself, and uh, I'll pick up the camera once all the brackets, hopefully it should be put on. All right, you guys, so we just got everything all finished up now. Um, really, really simple process, honestly. It was a matter of probably like 10 screws. So there's, for this number three bracket down here, there's two Phillips head, and it's I'm pretty sure it's called a Christmas tree plug that you would just plug in to keep it held in place. There's two more Phillips head for the number one bracket, two more for the number two, and then there's these six I don't know what they're considered. I'm pretty sure that's everything. So what I'm gonna do now is get the car started up to make sure that there's no leaks anywhere on the uh, actual intake system itself. And if I don't see any issues, um, I'll get some photos and then I'll go ahead and get everything thrown back onto the car. So I actually got Jordan in the car right now. I'm gonna have him start it up and just give it a Jesus Christ, bro. Oh my god, this shit's so fucking loud. I'm gonna have him just come near it and see if I can hear any sort of induction noises or anything like that. So that being said, I'll have him pull it forward and just give it a few revs and whatnot. So freaking sick. You can literally you can literally hear it every single time he gets on the gas. Oh my god. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Oh I don't know how well that's gonna get picked up on camera, but you can clearly hear it sucking it making induction noises. Oh my god. That's so badass. All right, so I'm gonna have Jordan record a few clips for you guys. Um, I'm gonna do some driving clips, kind of like back and forth, just so you can see how the intake sounds. I'm not gonna go crazy, because I mean, I am in my neighborhood, so I can't go super crazy, but I'll, I'll do a few pulls back and forth, that way you guys can kind of just get an idea of how the induction noise sound.
So I just got back from doing those quick pulls real quick. Let me know what you guys think. <laughs> this thing, in my opinion, is absolutely worth the time and the money if you're looking into getting something like this for your car. What I'm gonna do now is actually go over here and grab my bumper and try and get this thing thrown back on. Once I have the bumper thrown on, <laughs> I'll have to go through the whole process of getting these clear side markers back on. So hopefully that isn't too much of a pain. But other than that, I'll go ahead and get started throwing the bumper back on. All right, you guys, so after literally like 30 minutes of struggling trying to get this bumper on. I literally had to have Jordan come out here and help me. These clips right here, this one in specific, was such a freaking pain to get in. It would literally feel like, I, I, I was trying whatever we could to get this thing on and it would not come on. So I'm gonna get the bolts and these um, clips, whatever they are, whatever they're called, put back on the car. I'll get this piece goes inside the engine bay, put back on as well. And struggle, I'm sure, with the uh, clear side markers once again. And that should be everything good to go. So it's been a few hours now. Um, we actually got the bumper put back on now. It was probably the most painful thing out of this whole process, but everything's on, tightened up. Let me know what you guys think. I think it looks absolutely amazing. It sounds so sick too. But um, if you guys are interested, in getting any intake system designed for your car, I'd highly recommend going over to Velocitech's page and seeing if they have one made for your car. Like I said, they have so many different intake systems out there for so many different brands. So I'd highly recommend going over to their page and checking to see if they have one made for yours. Um, huge shout out again for them to sending this intake over. I'd really, really appreciate it. Um, so if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a like down below. Subscribe if you're new. That way you guys can stay up to date on all the content that I'm always putting out. And until then, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.